and exist co at peace co peacefully. Hi guys and welcome back. I'm Kat, this is Kat Talks, and today we are talking about why you should read Alienated. All right, so Alienated is a book written by Melissa Landers. She wrote this as a young adult sci-fi, so it is aimed at people of around 14 to 18 years of age, I believe, and it is a story of the romance between an alien, Alex, and a young woman called Kara. This is a light-hearted sci-fi written to mostly be a romance, essentially, but also deal with some hard-hitting issues such as racism and xenophobia. Alex is an alien from a different planet, and he has come to Earth to kind of learn more about the culture and see if they can, the aliens that is, can kind of trade and coexist peacefully with the humans of Earth. Now, they are genetically identical to the humans, um, in terms of DNA, and they have had only had a couple of generations of controlled breeding to make them better than the humans. So, for example, Alex can learn languages in a week, things like that. So, um, they're kind of perfect. The only thing is that the aliens appear to be losing their emotions and their ability to kind of uh, yeah, essentially their emotions, they've become very serene, and this means um, that they are running into unexpected difficulties in this area that is explained throughout the book. As I said, this is a very light-hearted novel. It uh, doesn't really go into depth with a, any of the characters. They are all very stereotypical. Alex is the stereotypical cool, collected guy. Kara is the stereotypical clever and hot-headed girl. Her friends fall into other stereotypical... How many times can I say stereotypical? Uh, teenage stereotypes. Oh, gosh. Um, so her best friend, for example, is uh, changes her appearance to attract a man. Her ex-boyfriend was really nice when he was a nerd, and now he plays sports, he's evil. That kind of thing. The story is told from the point of view of a teenager, which means that a lot of the writing is very simple. Now, while this may not be the most literary of books, it does mean it's a very fast read, and I think you could probably finish this in one or two sitting. I finished about half of it while I was brushing my teeth, if you remember from my last vlog, as in literally during one teeth brushing session because I couldn't stop reading, or I didn't want to stop reading the once I found my groove. There is a lot of high school drama in this, so if you are looking for an easy uh, intro into sci-fi from contemporary high school romances, this would definitely be one to pick up. A lot of the plot is centered around the high school and what the high school kids are doing, and not as much on the hard science. In fact, there is pretty much no hard science in this except for one science experiment that the alien does on some rivers nearby. Alienated strengths are that it is very plot driven. Um, as I said, the characters are quite stereotypical, but the plot is pretty fast paced and pretty good. There are a lot of conflicts with the neighboring um, both kids and adults as the distrust of the aliens grows and Kara and Kara's family must make choices to protect Alex. Its weaknesses, as I said, is that it focuses a lot on high school drama and this could very easily have been a book about a minority from another country and not another planet and that would have made it a very hard hitting contemporary. And the other weakness that it has, of course, is that it is very stereotypical. So as I said, this would work as a good intro to sci-fi, but it definitely wouldn't be something I'd recommend to a person who is used to reading sci-fi if they're not looking for a light-hearted romance. As a light-hearted and easy read, this definitely gets a thumbs up from me. If you're looking for something to take for, to the beach or to take on a plane journey that is very easy to read and enjoyable, then this is one for you. Finally, I'm going to recommend two books that I think people would enjoy in the similar vein. One of the books that I would recommend along a similar vein is Red Rising. This deals with themes of political abuse and power and has a young man in the red or manual labour kind of camp um, infiltrating and eventually overtaking the gold, which is the... Uh, elite race, as it were. This is a book that deals with a lot of institutionalized racism. I haven't read it yet, but I've heard amazing things and it's definitely on my TBR. The other book, if you're looking for more of a hard-hitting sci-fi about how aliens who don't look like us um, think and function, then I definitely recommend Ender's Game by Orson Scott Card. Ender's Game is the first in a long series. I haven't read a lot of the other books in the series, and I have heard some critical things of Orson Scott Card. However, Ender's Game is a great look. I can't tell you too much without spoiling it, but I, if you haven't read Ender's Game and you're looking for a hard-hitting sci-fi, I definitely recommend checking it out. It is amazingly well done, particularly, in fact, the elements that are left on Earth while Orson is training, Orson, Ender is training. Um, Ender's Game features a society where you're only allowed one kid unless you're ha you have the kind of genetics to bring out super kids and then you're given a special pass but your kids are obviously bullied and looked down on. Ender and his two siblings are geniuses um, but both of his siblings were not chosen to go to the program because of various personality traits and those personality traits come out throughout the book and Ender is taken and trained in a top secret military base from being a young child. So he is a, a child soldier in many ways. Um, and the novel kind of deals with that, the training he goes through, the emotional impact that has on him. He actually gets PTSD, and then the, the eventual fallout of the conflict there. And it deals a lot with how humans view aliens and also interracial, um, interracial kind of tensions 
on Earth with it, between humans, essentially, and how they've all kind of unified together in, in the face of this alien force. So that, this has been Cat Talks. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you want to see more. Bye!